what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I just saw a video of DJ Academics talking about going to the police on Meek Mill if he threatens him. In fact, he says that Meek Mill has already threatened him, talking about green lighting him. And he's saying, what do you mean? Are you crazy? You want to tell me you're going to green light me? I'm sending that straight to the police. Here's the backstory. Apparently there's some beef because Meek feels that DJ Academics has been bad mouthing him. And they've been going back apparently for a couple of weeks. This is what's being reported. Now, what I want to know is this, fam. How is it that you get into a beef? You start, you know, you, you voluntarily get into a beef. And then you go to the police when somebody makes a threat. This is why it's not even smart ever to threaten people. One thing that DJ Academics did say is that don't tell somebody you're going to green light them. Just do what you got to do. I wholeheartedly agree with that. Like, don't tell somebody what you're going to do. Just do it. Because most of these dudes on social media are straight cowards. I mean, one thou cowards. Ain't going to push a duck in the pond. And if they do, they'll jump in and save it. That's how scary they are. The trip part about it is sometimes you got a coward on both ends. One scared and the other glad of it. You know how you can really tell that a dude ain't really about that life? Because real cats, they don't even participate in that stuff because they know where it can go. And they're prepared to go there. The cowards are not. These type of dudes, they don't announce their location because they know an op might show up. They really ain't about that, fam. They got some people fooled, but they're really not about that life. But they're going to keep on pushing till they get their head knocked off. But if you got it on your mind, don't make no threats on the internet because they're gonna go straight to the police with it. Because that's who they are. I've already seen a number of them dudes do it already. They going straight to the police. But here's the thing about the police. The police ain't gonna follow you home. That judge and that prosecutor, they not going to stand out in front of your, your door or be right there with you when you go pick your kids up from school. They're not going to be there at the grocery store with you. They're not going to sit out in front of your house for weeks and months at a time. They're not going to do none of that stuff. If you can make it to court, they'll be sitting there waiting on you. But other than that, you're on your own. This is why it's important not to put yourself in these type of positions. Now, I heard somebody saying that, well, Meek Mill is a hypocrite because he out here talking about prison reform and then he talking about green lighting somebody. And I think it's quite possible to do both. I think that you can be a champion for prison reform and still put something on somebody's ass if they get out of line. And I think it's possible to do both. I think it's very possible to go and participate in voting and then, uh, you know, go and take care of your business in some other space, you see? Because here's the deal. A lot of times cats see you in certain spaces and they think it's sweet. They see you, they think you're an artist or they think you are a blogger or they think you're a politician or you're an athlete or just a regular business person and they think it's sweet. 
So they push and they push. And again, they push until somebody puts something on their ass. This is what normally happens. But, and it always happens. I don't care how long it's been since they ain't got an ass whooping. It always catches up to them because everybody ain't playing. But who you got? Me or academics? Who is right in this situation, in your opinion? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?